Assalamu alaikum hello hi and welcome to cooking is fun with firdaus and i wish all my viewers a very happy islamic new year guys i'm sure this new year you would definitely make some kind of a dessert so i thought why not i share my dessert with you which is rasgulla chamcham and rasmalai this is one of my favorite favorite dessert and i can never say no to rasgulla uh, let me just explain you how to do this recipe step by step so you don't make any mistakes and end up with this delicious recipe First I'm going to boil the milk around 1 and 1/2 liter of milk while that's getting boiled I'm going to make my lemon juice extract so for this I need 2 lemon juice extract the juice add around 2 to 3 teaspoons of water to it and once the milk comes to boil lower the flame completely and add this lemon extract little by little gradually as you keep stirring in your milk Now as you keep doing this you will see that the middle sta- milk starts curdling and you see the chana is getting separated from the whey this liquid is called the whey you can see the yellowish color liquid the water which separates from chana you can collect this water and keep it in fridge for at least uh, 10 to 15 days and use in making sponge cakes this will help your cake to be very spongy now moving on to the uh, the ras malai and the rasgulla part now we'll first drain you can see there are no burning marks so you should ensure that your milk doesn't get burnt so you need to drain this whey completely from your chana okay and then run this chana in the cold water because we need to stop the cooking process overcooking of chana can lead to rubbery kind of a rasgulla or no rasgulla <laughs> so let's wash this completely it's very hot so be careful while doing that once you wash it and also the lemon flavor will go away and then you need to drain this for at least 1 to 1 and a half hour after this you need to remove it and start kneading in so kneading is actually the important process over here listen to this carefully if your chana is crumbly then you need to knead at least for 5 minutes but if your chana looks not crumbly but soft then knead for just 3 minutes that will be more than enough once you start kneading in you need to knead only with your palm not with the whole of your hand knead it with the palm and as you keep kneading in the dough will come back and you will get a nice soft and a smooth dough like this Once this is done start rolling in your rasgulla balls. You can see there are no cracks, no lumps, nothing. So I'm just going to make around 8 balls and then the remaining 4 for my uh, rasmalai and 3 shapes for my chamcha. So once these shapes are completed I'm going to set this aside and start boiling in my sugar syrup. I'm adding around 4 cups of water, 2 cups of sugar. 4 to 5 cardamoms along with the cardamom pinch of cardamom powder and say saffron why i add saffron is it gives a very rich look and flavor to your chamcham rasgulla and rasmalai once the water is completely boiled and it is still boiling you need to add your rasgullas into it once you add this let it boil well for 5 to 10 minutes ensure that you are boiling in in a very high uh, temperature do not reduce the temperature once it boils well after 5 10 minutes you can open it and check for your rasgullas are boiling well you can see they look amazing again close it and let this boil in a medium flame for another 5 to 10 minutes so after 5 to 10 minutes when you open it up and you see wow <laughs> Your delicious rasgullas are getting ready. Can you see that? Wow, I really love this. Okay. After this, I'm going to close it, switch off the flame and set this aside in the refrigerator for at least an hour to 2 hours to cool down. Meanwhile, for my rasmalai, I'm going to prepare the milk which we need to put in the rasmalai. So for this, I'm using full cream and I'm adding about 500 ml of full cream milk. to which i'm adding a uh, cardamom powder and saffron with the uh, uh, badam flakes bring it to boil and add pistachio flakes and again bring it to boil and boil until it's completely half 
in the size completely it reduces into half once this is done you will see that there is a malai kind of a stuff coming out of your milk start scraping from the edges so that you know you get that malai also in your milk <laughs> so this is ready and now goes for the next part that is my chum chum i'm using badam uh, halwa you know i'm not using the khoya you can use the khoya also but i prefer using in the badam halwa because the kesar flavored uh, uh, chum chum will go very good with badam halwa so this is badam halwa so i'm just uh, making rolling it into the shapes so that i can fill it into the chum chum I'm going to now slit open the chum chum. You can see how soft it is. So be very gentle. So slit open it and just fill in these badam halwa into it. And there you go. So this badam chum chum is ready. Coming to the serving part. I'm just serving my ras malai chum chum. let me just show you you can see the rasgulla is oozing out <laughs> very beautifully and that's the soft you can see after oozing also inside i still find so much of syrup so which means it's so soft and so spongy and not rubbery it looks amazing <laughs> so guys i hope you love this recipe and if you really love uh, cham cham rasgulla and ras malai this recipe is definitely to try and do share your uh, comments below and uh, thank you so much for all your love and your support you have been showing inshallah see you soon with another recipe until then take care allah hafiz 